Hello students, this is the third video on time value of money concept. Here also I will cover future value of money or future value of rupee. Already I made two videos on this concept. This is the continuation of those two videos. If you did not see those two videos, please watch those two videos before watching this video to better understand this concept. So I will provide the link of those two videos in the i button as well as in the description box. In this video, I will cover concept and solve problems on future value of money. And it is is invested or deposited in a series of payment in the sense you deposit regularly or invest regularly how to calculate the future value already I have covered the video I told you second video is on when the amount is deposited at the end of the year I have already covered this video I will cover if the amount is deposited at the beginning of the year how to calculate the future value as well as future value of annuity due table also I will explain here let's start this video so this is the answer of the question which I have furnished given in the second video. You have seen that second video, you might have done that problem. So please do cross check your answer. Now future value of series of payment already I have covered deposited at the end of the year in the second video. I will share the link of that video in the i button as well as in the description. Please do watch that video. In this video, I will cover deposited at the beginning of the year when it is non-uniform as well as uniform series of payments are made. Now I will cover non-uniform payment formula Vn is equals to R into 1 plus I whole to the power of N plus R1 into 1 plus I whole to the power of N minus 1 plus R2 into 1 plus I whole to the power of N minus 2 so on till the last payment that is R into 1 plus I whole to the power of 1. So like this we have to calculate the future value of non-uniform payments whereas v to, VN is equals to future value at nth period R is equals to payment at the beginning of the current year R1 is equals to payment at the beginning of the period 1 period 2 so on till the nth period I is equals to rate of interest N is equals to number of years. So any problem you can take which is non-uniform cash inflows deposited at the beginning of the year you can easily calculate with the help of this formula now if you see this formula this is uniform payment formula for uniform payment we have two formulas first one is vn is equals to r into when the payments are uniform r will be taken as common value into 1 plus i whole to the power of n plus 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 1 n minus 2 so on till the last payment that is r into 1 plus i whole to the power of n so like this we will take r common and rest of the factors we will make the summation i hope you understood this formula we'll take up one problem so x deposited 5000 at the beginning of each year for 5 years in a bank and deposit earns a compound interest at the rate of 8% per annum. Determine the value that is future value at the end of 5th year. How to calculate the formula is just now what we have discussed the formula. Just simplification that is plotting the values and finding out the answer. 5000 we have taken common since it is deposited at the beginning of the year every year for a period of 5 years. Therefore we have taken common value then we made the summation of the factors that is 1 plus 0. 0.08 that is 8% will be written as 0 0.08 because 8 by 100 will remain 0 0.08 only okay instead of writing 8 by 100 I have reduced one step writing 0 0.08 whole to the power of 5 plus whole to the power of 5 minus 1 same value whole to the power of 5 minus 2 5 minus 3 5 minus 4 that is last one will be 1 you should check there should be 5 values in the sense 5 times we made deposit once you write this for the simplification you can find the values factors that is 1 1.46931.3605 1.2797 1.1664 1.08 these values we can even find out with the future value table which i have explained in the video number one so if you further simplify 5000 into 6.3359 into 5000 we will get 31680 rupees will be the future value if we deposit 5000 at the beginning of each year for a period of five years at 8% interest. Now this is also the uh, formula for uniform payment. This is called as future value of annuity due. Formula is 1 plus i into 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. You know already i is equals to interest rate n is equals to number of years. Same question if you apply the formula this formula current formula earlier formula we understood how to calculate the value that is uniform and if you apply this formula same way you can get the answer same answer you should get is bear in mind so 5000 into 1 plus 0 0.08 into 1 plus 0 0.08 whole to the power of 5 minus 1 actually it is power 5 please try to understand this is power 5 whole divided by 
0.08. If you further simplify the factor, we will get if you uh, simplify the value in the bracket that is 6.3359. The same value what we got earlier. Like this, you can simplify the equation and you can get the answer. Is equals to same value 31,680 rupees will be the future value. You can find out this value through annuity due table event. Future value of annuity due table. I, here I have furnished. I have written the formula how to calculate the future value of annuity table event. What is the amount deposit at 5,000? We need to find out the factor. 5 years at the rate of 8%. So horizontally we have percentages that is 8% you take and fifth year 8%. So if you see the highlighted value is 6.3359. The same factor we got we simplify the equation i hope i made you understand the entire crux of the future value of series of payment at the beginning of the year so i am putting best efforts to make these videos please do like share and subscribe my channel so this is the exercise problem the amount invested like 45 678 every year in a bank for 30 years here he did not mention beginning or end so we consider it as a beginning of the year the bank offers 7.5 percent interest per annum find out the future value this was the one of the university question paper question please solve this problem i will provide the answer of this question in the description box so i wish you all the best do solve this problem i'll share the answer by applying the uniform formula any one of those two formulas better apply the second formula and find out the answer so i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative informative videos for the students thank you very much